Southern Charm star Catherine Dennis denied being behind the wheel of the car that nearly mowed down a deputy sheriff outside an elementary school, RadarOnline.com has exclusively learned. Dennis told investigators that she and her 2022 Ford Bronco never left her South Carolina home, despite investigators noticing fresh damage to the vehicle's passenger side and photographic evidence of her car's license plate taken by a witness at the scene, according to internal documents obtained by RadarOnline.com. The stunning revelation was unearthed in an email exchange between investigators and high-ranking South Carolina Highway Patrol officials scrambling to deal with the media onslaught that erupted following the October 20, 2023, high-profile incident. As we previously reported, Dennis became the target of the investigation after her vehicle recklessly barreled down the street and grazed Berkeley County Sheriff's Deputy Michelle Ward who working as a crossing guard clutching a large stop sign outside the Whitesville Elementary School in Monk's Corner. The deputy, who injured her hand and foot in the 7.30 a.m. incident, managed to get a partial license plate of the vehicle and a witness chase down the Bronco and got the full tag, according to the email obtained by RadarOnline.com. Dennis was eventually tracked down at her home near the hit-and-run scene after an aggressive manhunt. She showed him, the trooper, her vehicle which matched the description given, the tag number matched, and the vehicle matched the one seen on the school video, stated an email from Lt. Chadwick A. Pearson, the executive officer at Troop 6 which patrols the Monk's Corner area. Ms. Dennis claimed neither her nor her vehicle had left the property all day, the email stated. There appeared to be fresh damage on the passenger's side mirror consistent with striking the stop sign that was in the deputy's hand. Ms. Dennis stated her vehicle did have damage on it but all damage on it was from old events. Investigators dutifully obtained surveillance videos from nearby businesses that caught the gray Bronco passing by but it was not close enough to make out the driver, the email stated. At this time there is sufficient evidence to say that is the vehicle involved but there is insufficient evidence to place a driver behind the wheel at this time, the email stated. As RadarOnline.com has previously reported, Deputy Ward, 40, expressed her concerns that Dennis' celebrity status and her family's deep political ties in the state may have allegedly influenced the stalled investigation. I don't know if it's because she's a local celebrity or actress or it's because of the family that she is connected to or if it's just they don't want to, Ward told RadarOnline.com in December. I don't know if they just feel that they don't have enough, I don't know. I would like to know why just for my own sanity to know why they haven't done anything. 